Hello and welcome to the WB Mason Coach Report on GoHofstra.com. Joined as always by the head coach of the Hofstra Baseball Program, Frank Catalanato. Coach, welcome. Thank you, Len. Uh, busy week this week, you know, one of, the, one of the busier weeks of the season. So starting off, we'll go back to the weekend series at William & Mary. You win another series, the fifth CA series that you win this year. But, uh, but again, the elusive sweep, uh, you know, can't get that win on Sunday to complete the sweep. But, you know, what did you see from your team over the weekend at William & Mary? I was happy with the way they competed, uh, happy with the offense. You know, it, it's taken some time, but I feel like the offense has uh, has really caught up now. Uh, we were uh, not swinging the bats great early in the season, but um, we look good now. You know, the approach is is good, and, uh, you know, we've been hitting with score, uh, runners in scoring position, getting some clutch hits. Uh, so I was happy about that. Yeah, it was, it was unfortunate that we had a chance two weekends in a row to sweep and we weren't able to, to get it done. Uh, but still, I've been proud of, of the way these guys have been playing on the weekends. I, mean, I think that goes to the probably more to the point of it really, it's really hard to sweep a team, especially on the road. I mean, these are good teams that you're playing. So it's not like you know, you're playing the, you know, a, I don't want to single anybody out, but you, you know, you're playing good teams. And it's, it's hard to get three wins in a row. It is. It is. Uh, I mean, you know, we've seen that the last few weeks. Um, you know, you've got to play a really clean game, um, you know, in order to get that last one, because uh, sometimes it's just it's a lot to ask to, to, to win, for, to have, you know, three games go right for you in a row, because like you mentioned, all these teams in this conference are, are good and all these teams are, are capable of, of scoring a bunch of runs and, and winning games. So, um, you know, it's, it's not easy and, uh, you know, hopefully, uh, hopefully we can get that sweep this weekend. All right. Um, after William Mary, you come home for the first time in, in two weeks and you got Iona, another, uh, you know, back and forth game, but you come away with the fifth walk-off win of the season, six, four on, on Jake Libertori's, uh, three run home run in the bottom of the ninth. What, you know, obviously Iona is, is struggling this year, but, you know, what, what did you see from that game? And, you know, what do you take away from that win? Well, the only thing I, I really can take away from it is, is the guys found a way to win the game. You know, it was a game that we had to win. Um, no disrespect to Iona, but they're in an off, an off year right now. Uh, you know, their, their record isn't very good. And it, it's a game that, that, that we had to win. And uh, quite honestly, you know, we were going up, against a, a bunch of pitchers that had some high ERAs, walked a lot of guys, and, and from innings one through eight, we didn't do a good job uh, at the plate. Our approach wasn't good. We didn't get deep into counts. Um, and luckily enough, we were able to, to find a way to win the game. And, um, you know, uh, other than finding a way to win the game, I, I, I felt like, you know, we need to do a better job earlier in the game with the at-bats you know if you know a team uh struggles throwing strikes we shouldn't be up there swinging at the first pitch we should try to get deep into counts so that's what i told the guys and, and hopefully we'll be better moving forward all right and then yesterday uh, a tough loss at Tony brook first game in, in over a decade against the seawolves who will be our future conference mates next year um you know obviously midweek a midweek game uh, you know, a lot of pitchers and a lot of, uh, a lot of runs scored. So, you know, what do you take away? What, what did you see in that game? Anything positive that you can take away from that game and, and head into the weekend with? Well, the positive was, you know, when we got down six to two, we were able to battle back and tie the game up. Uh, I believe it was seven, seven. Um, but our pitchers have to be better. Uh, you know, we, I think we walked 10 guys and hit two batters. So it's, it's 12 free passes that we gave away and it's tough to win uh, a baseball game when you're, you're, you know, giving away free bases. Um, uh, we've got to compete better, you know, even when we don't have our best stuff or, or, you know, uh, pitchers are out there, you know, battling, you know, you've got to find a way to compete. And, and I felt like some of our pitchers yesterday didn't compete and weren't, throwing strikes. And uh, I feel like if we would have thrown the ball in the strike zone, we would have had a, a better chance of winning that game. But 
you know, that didn't happen. So, uh, you know, again, you know, it, it's been the theme all year. We're trying to find guys, midweek guys that can help us on the weekends. And uh, we're having a tough time identifying those guys. And you mentioned the weekend starting tomorrow, 11 a.m., uh, game time change due to the weather. You have Northeastern, the defending champions. Uh, you know, good team, well coached. Uh, Mike Glavin, a former professional player like yourself, you know, kind of runs that team in a, in a pro, you know, as a pro style approach to it as well. Um, you know, what kind of challenge does Northeastern present and, and what are you looking for this weekend? Well, they're coming in very hot. You know, we're catching them at the wrong time. They got off to a slow start. Uh, but uh, their pitching is, is outstanding, uh, you know, best in the conference. And, um, you know, we're going to have to be ready for it. I mean, luckily, we, we're, we're playing at home, um, you know, where we're comfortable. And, um, you know, we're going to have to be able to swing the bats. And, um, you know, hopefully we'll, we'll get good pitching like we have on the weekends. And, and you know, our, uh, our starters can uh, give us a chance to win the game. And you mentioned the offense being hot you know, really up and down the lineup, guys who have been hot and cooled off a little better are starting to pick it up again. Like, a, you know, Brian Morrell was so hot to start the year. He, you know, he came back down to earth a little bit. You know, no, now he's heating up again. Jake Libertori has been on fire the last couple of weeks uh, between hitting and even just on base percentage, you know, walks and, and getting on base. Uh, you know, Dino at the top of the order. And then the bottom of the order, guys like Morash and Santino, Rospo have really been putting together and I can't leave out Michael Floridas either, you know, big hit yesterday with the two run single. So, you know, seeing these guys and, and looking at their approach, is there anything different or has it just been guys who have just stayed the course and just the normal ups and flows of a baseball season? Yeah, no, I, I think they're sticking to the approach better now. I mean, we've been preaching the same thing uh, all the way throughout, but I think it's, it's now kind of um, they're realizing exactly what they need to do in order to be successful and it's all coming together. I mean, you know, yes, it's, it's difficult. There are ebbs and flows uh, to a season when, you know, with, with hitting, uh, I just think it's nice, you know, now we're kind of peaking at the right time guys. It seems like one through nine, uh, give us a chance uh, every single at bat and guys that, you know, maybe you didn't think we're going to hit um, are, are starting to, to, to really, you know, drive in some runs, have good at bats. And uh, so, you know, with Jake and with Brian, I mean, these guys are, are getting hot right now and it's the right time. And it's, um, it's nice to see, hopefully we can con continue to do that through, through the remainder of the season. All right. And like I said, tomorrow, Friday at 11 a.m., game one of the three game series against Northeastern, followed by single games on Saturday and Sunday at 1 p.m. Coach, thanks for your time and good luck this weekend against Northeastern. All right. Thank you, Len. And you've been watching the WB Mason Coach Report on GoHofstra.com.